What's up creatives? I'm Abigail, your go-to for design, business tips, and social media hacks. And today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be showing you my routine of how I put makeup to get ready for YouTube videos, for meetings, for photo shoots. I'm not any kind of makeup expert, but this is what I usually do so that I can look put together and ready for camera. So usually when I put on makeup, it doesn't take me a very long time. 10 minutes max, including hair curling. And without further ado, I'm going to show you how I put this makeup on. So let's get right into it. So I usually start with lotion, just so I can hydrate my face first. I'm kind of using the front camera. So before this, I actually wash my face already. And then next, I put this brightening cream that my friend bought for me in Taiwan and basically it helps with being on camera because it kind of brightens up your skin so I don't really use foundation and all that this is kind of like what I use as a base I don't use a brush either I always feel like using your hand is better because you wash your hand, it's cleaner, it looks really pale. I can't really tell. It's kind of far away. So I use this as a base. You can see that my skin is already, it already looks brighter. And then I kind of go in with concealer. And you can see like dark circle, any pimples I have that day. I don't really put that much. I don't really like clogs in my pores. And then go in with Charlotte Tillsbury's bronzer for all the contour. Kind of acts like a blush for me in a way because I don't really put blush either. You can see that there's already a shadow, so it makes me look like it's a bit slimmer. You see? And then I go in with Charlotte Tillsbury highlighter and kind of highlight the part that I want to highlight. There, there. You can't really see unless you take a photo, but I don't know if you guys can tell. I put it further. Oops. You can kind of tell, right? So at this point, I don't know why, but I like putting lipstick first. I'm weird like that, just so that I look more alive. So I usually put this for my YouTube videos just because I like darker colors. So then for eyebrows, I already had my eyebrow semi-tattooed before, so I don't really have to do much. Once you fill in a bit. I don't know if it's a good idea to look at my front camera doing this. I can't really tell. so many naked palettes I'm obsessed I think I only use naked palettes and you can see it's like all gone already use darker colors and then kind of go in the side and then use like a glitter color on in on top stand out more and then maybe I go in with black one more on the inside this is my 
makeup usually and then if I go on YouTube then I would put on Glamatics because they're so easy you just stick them on you don't have to use glue or anything you just use their Glamatics um, eyeliner and then you just stick their lashes on So I use Dyson hair, hair curler because it's so fast, it takes me like 3 minutes to curl my hair. Basically after I curl my hair, I use anti-frizz oil just so that my hair will look more shiny. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, you learned a little thing or two and it doesn't really take a lot of time for me to do my makeup so this is just kind of how I usually do it so let me know down in the comments below what are your process and makeup products that you use to get ready for YouTube videos and your meetings hit the notification bell, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye now